The former Prime Minister Liz Truss has come back to make another speech, this time against a threat to the current world order by the authoritarians. Oh yes, uh, Liz Truss has been pretty busy these days. Uh, she first made an intervention about uh, her own uh, time in office, uh, saying that uh, the, the the authoritarian left-wing economic establishment, uh, the deep state, brought her down. Uh, and now she's talking about the current world order that's been in place since the 40s, uh, and it's it's under threat. And my, my view is, there's an interesting point that she's making. Obviously, she was one of the most incompetent prime ministers we had, uh, despite the fact that some of her views were correct. And that's why I didn't really... Well, obviously, one of the reasons I didn't back her uh, during the leadership election was that, but also because since 2019, I've now been independent. I'm not really on any party side or any political side. But that aside, she's been making some interesting points. The interesting thing about her rhetoric, the main thing, is the fact that I do get it. There is... When it comes to the current uh, global order that we have, uh, there are there is a threat, but it's not just one side. There are various sides. You've got uh, the external threat, so the the Western system. You've got the the opponents of it, which is the Eastern globalists. Then you've got the isolationists, which is in in East and West. But you've got the actual internal threat. So people on the, on the political left, what we call the cultural Marxists or the far leftists, they are a threat. China is a threat. Uh, the 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 axis of evil that's a threat but you also got the the, the new uh, well they're not necessarily new but they've been accelerating their powers uh, the, the the western uh, new liberal globalists uh, in the name of uh, corporatism so the the people who go to davos and hang out that's also a threat to the current world order because they want to create the well they don't really want to create the new world order they want to protect the current world order but they want to uh, shift the powers to themselves but this is actually what she's talking about is the authoritarian regimes that's also that also are causing a, a threat to what we actually have our way of life, which is also not perfect, but at least it's something. Let's go to Liz Truss. Let's be clear. The free world is in danger. We're living in very turbulent economic times, mm -hmm. right through <clears throat> from the shock of the financial crisis through to the COVID crisis that we're still recovering from. Okay. We have less of the world's population living under democracy yep. than we did 30 years ago. Meanwhile, we have authoritarian regimes that are building up their armaments. Iran. As well as they're building up their arguments. And they're not just trying to convince their own populations. Yep. They're also trying to win over global opinion. And they're trying to create a new global world order. Yeah, absolutely. This is an interesting point because um, when it comes to arms, that's the Iranian regime. When it comes to trying to win the argument or conquer the world with technically soft power as opposed to military expansion, that is the Chinese Communist Party. They're doing the exact same thing. And we have to be very cautious about what we are doing. We can criticize and we should criticize the Western establishments when they become counterproductive and self-destructive. But we shouldn't really go too far that we're no longer just criticizing the Western establishments, but we are uh, attacking the Western values. Because that way, we will be inevitably, unintentionally, supporting the other side, which is, as I said, for example, the Iranian regime, or the Chinese Communist Party, or the others. And that's, that's the thin line, criticizing the nutters in the West who are running <clears throat> the institutions, as opposed to going so far to actually attacking the whole of the Western way of life. The, the civilization, the, the Western values. And that is very difficult to do because some people attack, attack, attack. And then at the end of the day, they end up being an apologist to the CCP, for example, or the Iranians in Tehran. It makes absolutely no sense, but that is the, 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 the problem that we're currently facing. Big challenge. Let me know what you think about uh, what Liz Truss said and what I said. And we're going to come back in half an hour with more updates for you guys. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media. <laughs>